Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Enjoy yourself. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Strandberg has agreed to an exclusive interview with celebrity GNN reporter Pam Kingsley, no doubt to enrage the public even further. This could be a way inside the lockdown consulate, and the replacement cameraman, a local freelancer, is yet to arrive. Ooh, have a banana for Christ's sake. Would you believe my luck? I'm at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. You ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. Would you believe I said my name was Finley? Right, so I'm at the shisha place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. Nice to see you, sir. Uh, time. Mister, I need to see an invite. Right there. What are you talking about? Crystal Dawn are here. That's an Eastern African problem.
Hey, please look where you're going.
This is it, guys. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Stramberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Stramberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say, I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Oh, hi. The press is here. You must be a photographer. Aha! Capital, you made it! Come on in. Come. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Hmm? I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no. Please, please, call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about I'm on it. Want to be a bit more careful, sir? Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Strandberg. Let me start by asking, how do you feel right now? Like my feet hasn't touched the ground, Miss Kingsley. These last few weeks, and everything that's happened to me, it's, it's just utterly unreal. Mr. Stramberg, for the last seven years, you have been the CEO of AMB, the biggest private bank in Morocco. Three weeks ago, the police showed up on your doorstep and you were arrested for billions Take my of picture. dollars in misappropriation. Such were the charges, yes. Do you have any explanation for these charges? Members of the free press are always welcome. And you are no longer on. Why 
Some philanthropist and sympathetic to my ordeal, no doubt. I appreciate the gesture, but the approach. Philanthropist. Sympathetic. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Crap, mister! 